afraid. Pretty much. That almost makes sense. At any rate, I don't wanna like what 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 do you think we should do? I'm half tempted to just say screw her and screw this planet. We sell what we can and leave. The last time I was given a finger emoji of an explosion, half the city exploded, so I have a feeling the prison might be about to explode or something. No, then she wouldn't need us to break out the person. I don't think they're going to accomplish anything of merit involving us not doing that. Well, Maybe it was a threat. On the one hand, it's very tempting to get to participate in a prison break. You don't, on the you don't, other, Aaron, Aaron, when do you get a when do you get to participate in a prison break, ever? Right? Yeah. Any time you choose to go and knock one over. Jerry? B is like B is like you guys are gonna you guys are gonna go do, perform a prison break. Cool. Can I come? First off, B no. Two. Uh -oh. How many prison breaks have you done, Jay? Uh. Mm, two. Technically, I'm really against the whole releasing all of the dangerous prisoners part. Why? You let me walk around. Yeah, but we can put a restraining bolt on you. <laughs> 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 Maybe they're all droids in that prison. Would that make you feel better, Lana? A little bit, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, put down the blast. <laughs> Jay, stop shooting me. Stop shooting me. Oh, God. It was a joke, I swear. All right. I, I, I agree with Lana in that, and I don't want to release every single individual for prison, regardless of this insurgent leader's thoughts about the government. There's going to be undesirable elements who were surely put there for very good reasons because they were guilty of crimes. And certainly this guy who's going to pay us also sounds like he's one of those people. So it really just becomes a matter of how else can we get Caltho off our backs. I'm pretty sure he already hates us. Like, that's kind of guaranteed. I mean, didn't we screw him once and then screw him again? Yeah. He might not know for sure... He'll yep, know eventually. It, but, yeah. Yeah. We did screw him twice, whether or not he knows it. Pretty much in the same day. Yeah. Right after, or shortly before, making so, a deal with him to get a slate clean. So, the real consideration is, is it worth trying to slightly increase his attitude towards us in exchange for becoming wanted criminals who voluntarily agreed to execute a prison break to destroy prison walls so that all of the criminals could bleed out into the city. Or like the what's the best case scenario there for us? The insurgents win and so that we don't have a criminal record? Before a local rebellion against an, imper an imperial government. I just made it worse. If it gets bad enough, whatever Moff is in control of the sector is just going to send in Star Destroyers. Hmm. You know, the plan of taking a hover doll and just putting this stuff on the ground is sounding really good right now. I'd really rather sell it if we're going to keep it. Yeah, or, I mean, I've got contacts to sell if, most of it. If we're going to throw away the whole Caltho deal, I mean, we can at least benefit from this. Well, and... We could just sell it and then funnel as much apology cash as we could over to Calpho. Is that the uh, metagame ramifications, Jordan? Plus 15 obligation if we, uh, we, uh, we decide not to try to break people out of prison? Or maybe that that's it? what we get if we do break people out of prison. <laughs> you know, that's that too. I haven't said anything. I haven't you said anything. Get... I'm basically saying that if you basically dump the shit and leave, that's probably what you're going to happen. We can either get a 15 obligation of criminal or a 15 obligation of bounty. 
Like, does that apply both ways? Like, are you just giving us information about one consequence without informing us about another one? Yes. Yep. Okay. Or we and could... That, and, that, and that would put you to 100, which meant that you guys could not spend XP. Which means our obligation can't go any higher. Actually, it can. It can. It can, it can keep going up. And which up. means it can't go any higher. <laughs> Yeah, that means strain happens every time. I just assumed that was the thing. Um, so it, it sounds like from what they were saying, this whole prison break thing is kind of getting fast-forwarded, so I'm not even sure how much prep time we'd have. Oh, no, that was, that was just me wondering what the hell I was going to say, and I'm like, oh, I remember it. So, uh, out of curiosity, was that like a... I just suppose Ragtro would ask, like, Lissa whether she could tell. Was that like a public service announcement, too, that was broadcasted all across the world? Because that would seem reasonable, like, if that was like a yeah, thread. I, I could you totally tell? see that. I, I could probably tell if I checked, but right now I'm just going to go ahead and tell you. I'm pretty sure that was a PSA to anyone who's visiting here. So, across the entire area. Okay. That's what it sounds like to me. So, it was a warning of military action about to take place. Yes. You know, bangs weren't enough. Those were just the warning explosions. All right, well... I mean, we don't know how many people there are there in this prison anyway, and they'll likely die in whatever fighting ensues, well, so... if we are considering taking it, if we go in there and we're the ones in control of the situation, we could choose not to release everybody. Yes. And that if it becomes an issue, we can just lie. That sounds time-consuming. It seems like the, a better option than just releasing a bunch of rampaging murderers, maybe. That's fair, but in my experience, good prison breaks have... Uh, Time sensitivity. How many of your two prison breaks were good? I, one. I think the one where he got out Ish. of being droid slave. So let's oh, I wasn't it, counting that one. Let's Three. call it forty percent. Hey, hey, that sounds like we're up to a solid sixty. At any rate, I am just not willing to consign all of the people who are visiting here to death because of this security prison destruction and all of the chaos and fighting that will ensue from it. I'm not willing to have all of their lives in my hands as well. No. Especially the squid vendor. Uh, the squid vendor. She likes you. You just I put three of her kids through college. Pretty much. But at the same time, I already have one hut after me. If we can do anything so that both huts, like multiple huts, aren't after the entire ship here. Which, come to think of it, you know, Ford is still out there somewhere. He might be upset, might come back at some point. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so, let's go hear him out. Is that what you're saying? I'm saying that we can accept this with the intent to just free this one individual and whoever else is a part of this insurgency. Yeah, that sound, sounds better than just, you know... The, minim the minimum gain <laughs> is that we just free the person who can pay us. If he doesn't pay us, I kill him. And then J kills him. And then Lana kills him. And then B kills I, him. I will not kill him. And I put him back together as a robot. <laughs> and, and I then kill B, him. And then B drops so, yes. the Tabata gas on him. So yes... We're freeing him so that we can not only get paid, but so that we don't have to deal with another hut stalking us as we live out the rest of our lives. Because they live longer than any of us do. Not me. Yeah. Well, well. Oh, Cal's will be living longer than you, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, you might have a point, but Calso has far more resources than we do. No, Jay might have a point if he were anyone else <laughs> <laughs> okay well that was their first mistake they gave me a comm link to contact them if we made a decision 
Look, I, I can't say that I enjoy this, but we've had it pretty good with the payout that we got from, from Cloud City. So, we can, we can chalk this one up to just covering our asses from that. It does have a faint feeling of if we don't do this, we're going to be perpetually chased until we do something about it. Not to mention that, from what you say about this insurgency leader, if we say no, they might come after us, and, well, we could kill them. It would just be the start. She does seem young, brash, and naive, so they might just come try to take it anyway. She has an explosive personality. And, honestly, I don't want to have any threat of our ship being attacked by explosives while <laughs> any gestures towards the 150 While our ship Japan, is a tin can full of explosives. <laughs> she's, been, no, she's, been known to go off, she's been known to go off like a rocket. And, worst, worst case, she might just chalk it up as a loss herself blow up the ship, takes out the entire spaceport. There's your quarantine. <laughs> yeah. So I'm begrudgingly with the idea of attempting this. I'd like to not kill any of the guards at the prison, though, at least. Except for Stone. Jay, you good with that? I'll oh. try. <laughs> <laughs> if they're outside short range, no promises. Alright. Give it a shot. What do you think I he suppose is? I will call her up and say that we're in. And she basically says, Okay. Hangs up the comm link, and not five minutes later, a van appears outside the starport waiting for you. See, this is what I'm saying. They can just drive around wherever they want. It's just a payday, gang. They could drive that van that obviously <laughs> looks crazy wherever they want. Mm -hmm. The driver there doesn't move. <laughs> Ever. All right. Ragchar is going to IB. All right, B. I'm trusting you again. Don't uh, make I'll, me I'll take say, away your Holovid collection. V's like, I got, I'm going to go one step, I'm going to go one step this time, and then just, V just turns himself off. Ragtar blinks in surprise, I, looks at G and says, you have full command of the ship? See you later. <laughs> I don't think that is better or worse. <laughs> we'll wrap well, him in like five we rolls might of strength, come right? back to find out that he has dispensed all of our money. Into what? Into you don't hollow vids. Yes, I have quartered the market on hollow vids. All right. Except he just bought all of the same hollow vid. Rekchar is gonna <laughs> get in the van. Get in the van. Down off the mountain. Yep, get off anyways, the mountain. Anyways, you get anyways, those of you those of you who have not met Tika Lands now are treated to her. So and we, a cadre of insurgents that are with her. Still don't ask her. Was she just like hanging out a block away? Just waiting. <laughs> and if I was? That's creepy. Yeah. <laughs> it's also very presumptuous. Listen. You guys were going to you guys were going to accept my good you guys were going to accept the plan. Oh, see I I prefer just listen. <laughs> and they just stop talking. Come on. Rack Rack Char like uh blinks and like uh, lets out a wide smile behind the helmet. And is thankful <laughs> for the helmet. Listen, we're gonna smiles. listen because of the quarantine. We're gonna have to move this uh, thing up a little bit quickly here, but Let we still got we st now. Not now. We've still got like at least. How we long do how, how long do you need to plan to break out to break to do a prison break? Anyways, well, well the what state of the planet right now, it doesn't seem like we can really do much planning. Like, what, what can you tell us about the prison schematics, if you know where your insurgents are located, so that we can free them instead of accidentally exploding them? What right. you have that might assist in getting us into the prison so that we can free your compatriots? We have a couple of, we have a couple of leads for you on that. And what? a floor plan would be nice. We don't really have access to that. It's been kind of hard to get floor plans out of the prison because it's been sort of according to what we've been able to get out. It's been being built up as they dig in, so we don't know where anything is. But then how will we know which walls to blow? 
Anyways, anyways, the the prison has one main entrance. That double that doubles as processing and visitation, which then leads which then which then leads out into what we can only assume, which we this is what we know it leads that leads out into a giant yard filled with various activities to maintain morale or something. I don't know bullshit. The prison and then the prison then 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 it leads into the various cell blocks, which all connect to the mines where all the prisoners go in to actually you know work off their time she says in air quotes because they're never leaving that place so it's like a nice castle yeah it's like a nice castle but she's also she's also theorized that there's another way of getting into the prison via the mines if you're if you're willing to you know journey in the pitch black darkness for about a, an hour or so just gonna take out the scanner goggles and put them over my eyes without saying a damn thing and Jay got his eyes replaced for a reason. She looks. She looks. She looks disappointed. You're not. You're not. You're not going to go through the main entrance. But she's like, I am not walking in the front door of a, I assume, maximum security prison. Okay. She says. She says to assist to assist you in the maintain keeping the guards busy. They will cause a distraction near the front gate. Not actually hitting the front gate, but they'll cause a distraction. Does she have an idea of how many numbers of guards, like how many guards there are at the prison? Prison holds anywhere. The prison last time we got an act, last time we actually got a count of people inside of it, could hold anywhere from two hundred to five hundred prisoners. Guards? Not guards, guards. Prisoners. Guards. Prisoners. With Mike Larry. Yeah, she's like prisoners. So I should have seen. I don't 50. know. They could. They, they. I don't know how many prisoners they could be. If this was a normal prison, probably one guard for every like. 20 prisoners. I'm going to assume 20. But. Assume quite. Assume a decent amount of prisoners. So 10 to 50. Okay. And as far as we know, for armament's sake, they do have an armor on site, but the guards themselves do not carry lethal weapons. Have they. Escalated their armament with your actions. I don't think there's time, and our actions have not been have not been anywhere near the prison. I just mean in general, in the past. Like, are they are they scaling up their defenses and their armament because of what you've been doing? No, uh, they pro they've procured new stuff, but from what we can from what we can gain, it's nothing deadly. I'm assuming it's anti riot gear. If that. Wonderful. California had a five to one, five prisoners to one guard. Mm hmm. Well, this five is guards the, to one prisoner. This is the grim bright future of the galaxy. <laughs> the grim bright. Anyways. Anyways, the man the man you're looking for the man you're looking for should be in the same cell block with a lot of other freedom fighters. His name is John Crichton. Was he an astronaut? Do you he have, is an astronaut. Do you have an image of him so that we'll know when we see him? He always wears a leather jacket. Always. Yeah, there's an image of him. Especially in the later seasons. Here you go. Okay, that's what he looks like. His face perpetually shrouded in shadow. Got it. <laughs> It's a it's a comment on the duality of man. <laughs> He's uh, got a lighting condition. Fucking more. philosophical a light, argument. It's a lighting condition. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's good. All right. He's John Crane. He's an astronaut. He's not from this. He's not from this universe. Yeah, okay. Um, well, he should go back to his players. Do you think there is anything else pertinent to ask? Resistance leader here. Um, <sighs> would you happen to know what type of restraints they're used on the uh, prisoners, or if they just like kept at gunpoint, essentially? Uh, what do you mean, like restraints-wise? We're talking about like standard shackles. We're talking about like shackles that will electrocute them if they do something, that type of thing. Yeah, the shock, the shock shackles, but they're mostly for listen. <laughs> They're mostly for listen. <laughs> listen, this pri- listen, this prison's underground and all this stuff. So where are they going to run to? Okay. Into the mines where they'll probably get killed by something in the mines. So you're telling me they've dug out some mines, but whoa, whoa, whoa. Are, well, what's some in the mines? Sort of, 
thing. Creatures of mine. Minox? Space monsters. Is yeah. that a pun joke or are there actual Minox in the mines? There's creatures in the mines. I haven't actually stabbed them out, so you're just going to have to go with it narrativistically. <laughs> so then we're not going to run into them. Just rubbing does. that word on things doesn't make them make sense. <laughs> yeah. It does, actually. <laughs> it does, Aaron. Hey, if they don't have stat blocks, we're not going to run into them. We're good. Yeah, pretty much. Anyways, I'm going... Is this the, is this the, fo- is this the anti-fog tool? Yes, yeah, the anti fog tool. Good. Tool. No, and now, and now you see why it took so long. Not yet, I don't. Yeah. Oh, way, I'm over way over mines. there. Mines. It just says mines. Is this a is this a lemmings or a worms map? Uh, yes. Uh, my 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 question then for the players would be whether uh you would want to go through that. I know I don't think Lunt. Do you have anything, Ryan, that would uh permit uh? Yeah, goggles. Okay, you have those as well. All right then. Then we would be good. I have uh, I have Not a attachment. complete plebe. I have an enhanced optic suite for my uh, my armor, which would permit it. Uh, Lissa and uh, Jay are good, and then okay, Lana's good too. So we could go through the mines then, and uh, I think that's better than us attempting a front assault or attempting to sneak in with all of the things we have through the front door. Now, when you said frontal assault, you meant to say suicide, right? I, didn't uh, mean, I, I, did, I did not mean to. I would just mean that we're going lethal in that case. <laughs> and uh, I don't want to kill all these people yet. I reserve my judgment. From the sound of it, they're using stun weapons, yeah. which are mostly short range, so firing at range would actually give us a significant advantage. It would definitely give us a significant advantage, but I don't. I don't personally want to kill them. If any also of you means do, you're walking into you. stun damage. It's true. Look, I will be. I mean, Jay is perfectly willing to kill them. Uh, until one of them shoots me with not stun damage, it's stun damage. <laughs> what are you talking about? Jay's perfectly willing to kill most of the party. Uh, <laughs> uh, he needs me. He needs me. You, you can't corroborate there's, that. There's always another Lissa. So when you said most of the party, you meant all of the party then. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's not going to kill himself. <laughs> what if he never considered himself to be part of the party? All right then. So uh, dun, my, dun, dun. <laughs> my minds it uh, would be then by the sound of it. Uh, is there a, anything that you folks are thinking about, like maybe attempting to purchase within the touristy city? No. Before I mean, uh, we attempt this. If we real, I mean, if they didn't say they were going to make a distraction at the front. I would have tried to rig up one of those remote controls on the speeder bike, just rammed it into there. I mean, unless you guys want to check for superior laminate armor again. Hi. I'm not sure that should be the thing we should look for, considering, uh, the, considering the situation which just transpired. <laughs> if one of us looked actually rich and we're just like, I need a suit of laminate armor for myself now. Not just There's any laminate armor. <laughs> superior la- I need some serious shit. That's what I'm saying. That, 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 that would be like press a call button for the government right there. Like the guy's frantically <laughs> mashing it behind the couch. <laughs> I'm assuming you guys are talking about buying stuff. No, no, no. We, we, yeah, we, sort of. We, we did discuss I mean, it. For and certain. Then, and then we ultimately rejected it by the sounds of things. We could try to dress up as guards. No. I think any attempts to dress up as guards would disperse the moment they... Unless you wanted to, like, disguise me as a prisoner. That's never been done before. No, no, totally not. It's a prisoner transfer from, you know... Cell block... Cool. Shit, I've forgotten. The cell block... Uh, we're fine. How are you? Just roll high enough on cool. They'll, they'll believe it. <laughs> I forgot which cell block you brought him from. Alright. If you guys want to try that, we can try that. I feel like try would be as far as that plan gets. I I, 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 I don't want to be. I don't want to be a prisoner. Okay. I would uh, I would rather attempt the mines. Alright. Uh, okay, let's see here. Is that right? I think we're right. Is everyone it's looking at the same thing now? A yeah, mines. I'm looking yeah. at the mines. Right. Where should we place uh, tokens? Uh, that's not the tool you want, Jordan. There we go. 
Yeah, that's good. Anywhere in this general area is good. Alright. You know, dark side, and just put myself back here. Shoot in the wall. Uh, unless that's where the opening is. And we're in the wall. No. You guys are... She's in the wall. Oh. You should come with me. In the wall. No, thank you. No hable. No, you know, no, 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 the space in place. In the wall. All right, we venture to the mines. The mines, I'm assuming everyone pretty much has a way of seeing in the dark. Yep. Yes. Yep. It's still pretty spooky and dark, but everyone's pretty fine. You can see things around there. You see some flapping Minox flying above you, high above you, because the ceiling is pretty tall. Like, we're talking like 10 <laughs> feet up. Hey, do the resistance, does the resistance by any chance have any directions of how the fuck to get to the prison mines? Uh, from, these from mines? where you are, you can go directly if you use if you use the metric I have created in the maps from earlier you go west which is left <laughs> okay you mean right so, would it uh, be possible to attempt to use survival to find tracks on the ground which might suggest people taking this path oh. before yes you can okay uh, that is a really good thing Rakshar will attempt to do that uh, My what, won't open. <laughs> what difficulty am I looking at Gatorade won't open GM three Okay. Purples. I withheld. I feel like this is something I could assist with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hunting and stuff is something they're known for. All right. Even if I'm not. You can still spot the tracks well, pretty well. Well, you assisted no, with not. it. <laughs> <laughs> right, Regchar uh, sh scratches his head, regains a point of shirt straight, and trucks. <laughs> pretty much. You weren't trying hard enough. There was they no pre they pretty much told They pretty much told you head east from where you are. Head yes. Head east. All right. Rekchar looks right. <laughs> I go well, east. Jay's going to be uh, marking the cave walls as we go along. Uh-huh. He's just dragging the tip of his vibra rapier along it. Pretty much. Okay. Except, you know, more making like axes at intersections and stuff. Okay, so we apparently that's east. We go east. <laughs> <laughs> east. I'm just going by what I said when I said the maps were created back in session one. Back in session one, yes. But then you said that west was left just like two minutes ago. Yeah, <laughs> he, he messed up his own statement. <laughs> Ignore this. Ignore the letters that are appearing above you. I okay. feel like we're getting close to the prison level. <laughs> I can hear the sounds of misery. Hmm. Yeah, there's pretty much nothing going on here. I'm just sort of revealing the the fog of war for tension. All right. I I I am remaining careful in my steps, always checking the ceiling for gray oozes. <laughs> yeah, there's no gray oozes. Okay, there is a fog barrier here. Hurt. Hold on, pass through the white fog. There we go, I, I moved it. <laughs> right. You triggered the boss, you asshole. <laughs> Just slowly tiptoeing and peering. Yeah, you're you're quick you're quickly gonna realize this map's actually supposed to be a lot bigger than it actually is. Alright. Yeah, you come funny. to a hole in the wall. Leading Ew. to a set of doors. Is there anyone by the doors? Ah, uh, that you can see. Okay. Uh, make a perception check. I can do that. What's my it's, difficulty it's, that I'm looking at? Uh, it's difficulty two. Okay. There's light. It's actually lit up and stuff, so it's like, like hidden by the darkness. There you go. Get wrecked. There's a, yep. There's a camera. There's a camera above the door, though. Okay. Rankchar will stop walking and point out the camera, and says, "Jay, camera here. do you think? You yes. Jay, do you think you could shoot that?" <laughs> I can certainly try. Mm -hmm. Look. <laughs> Should I? I? I wasn't meaning to make a payday reference there, but if that's where we want to go with that. That's all we do. 